that in the middle of Little Italy, little did we know that we riddled some middlemen who didn't do diddly. Aye, this is a fantastic album. If you don't know who you're looking at and you can't read, oh, <laughs> Big Pun in the late 90s was a phenomenal rapper who was taken from us way too soon. And what this is, is his first album, Capital Punishment, which is a banger from track one to the end it, it this i love this album i mean i knocked it hard and it, like i said it came out in 1998 and one of the things that really stuck with me is track eight and that's where the idea for this video came in because track eight is a gigantic red pill if you like our MGTOW, Manosphere, uh, SYSBM, whatever you, however you decide to approach this whole uh, life thing, right? There's been so many breadcrumbs left throughout the course of history <laughs> trying to explain to us how, you know, it, human nature, particularly the difference between the male and the female is so important and should not be taken lightly and in this particular uh verse that i'm gonna break down it's the second verse to that track eight a song called punish me where he discusses uh of the woman of his life who he loves but plays games and really really um you know he in the first verse he's he explains how the money took her from an average honey to a stunning looker i mean <laughs> and thusly and, and, and you know what? Hold on really quickly before I get into it, because the reason I'm stalling a bit is due to copyright. I'm going to be breaking this down bar by bar. But one of the really funny um, comments that I saw on not my version of the Gal Gadot uh, Holly Weird video was oh man these holly weird people look real different without their makeup on i mean gal gadot looks gorgeous regardless but yeah because that's what money does money makes people look fantastic that's what makeup artists do i mean they're at this point in 2020 they're damn near visual effects artists right so this is the second verse and i feel like the second verse of this song really deserves a certain level of i don't want to say scrutiny but just breaking down and analytics brought to it because it's a very like i know the term powerful gets thrown around a lot but it's a really important message so let's get into this and how many guys have been there right as men, the way we think, our logical brains, you're dealing, particularly when you're younger, you're dealing with, you know, a girl who, you, who you're like, oh, you know, this could be amazing, this could be great, and she's just like, nah, I'm, I, I want this thing over here that's definitely not going to be good for me, and you're like, girl, why'd you do it? <laughs> like, it's heartbreaking shit, it really is, but we're, we're, we're just getting started. I might have knew it by the way you gave me your baby the left a day before but yet was so the son that God made me. What she did before you got to even see your son, your, your, your low mans, your seed, your legacy. Like, <laughs> what? That is some infuriating shit. I mean, and, and whereas, uh, like, ladies will under be able to understand that just un but they have to be able to put themselves in that position and they they never would but as far as you know taking a kid o on its face value is just so fucked up that you know people of their right mind and that's male or female will admit that that is just an awful thing to do to another human being particularly one who you know you felt comfortable enough letting blow a load inside of you Todd, maybe we could make amends be friends but only hurting all of us for certain by forsaking him and that's something that you hear a lot of is like, you know, a lot of guys are more than willing to, that's how actually that, that willingness to, 
you know, compromise has led to a lot of the insanity that we see. Because as men, we're like, look, okay, what, what, however, however we can make this as smooth as possible, however we can make this as simple and as easy as possible. And unfortunately, due to female nature, particularly when you have all these laws and policies and legislation that um, really falls in her favor, there's uh, it, 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 like we we've come to a point where the uh, straws breaking the camel's back. Just take it in, don't even say your word. Observe the way you were. Preserve these words so you won't play the herb ever again. Never pretend that he doesn't have a father. I'm always there and you don't want to bother. Once again, he's sitting there like, yo, don't play the herb. That's uh, a <laughs> that's the back slang like, yo, you a clown, corny cornball herb. Like, yo, don't like just a jackass, you know, a jive turkey. If you, like, depending on how far back you want to take, you want to take the slang, which is a clown ass, sucker ass, two type dudes, you know, like or or female, whatever, whichever one you want. To, like yo, it's just like stupid. You're being real dumb right now. You you are herb, like yo, you cornball. Stop it. Cut it out. It's bullshit. I yawn up my word on my father's grave. Got him through his hardest age, so he can thrive and survive in these modern days. Now, what did I say in that Fences video? I said that the importance is like, yo, that's the father's role is to create us, is to, um, you know, prepare the child for life to survive. And that's a big part of the reason why we have all of these problems coming out of the single mother households, because it, that 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 guidance isn't there. That ability to, to deal with authority is not there and they're not being raised with this. And this is general. And, and it's 2020 now, you know, it, we're generations. We've been we were generations deep in 98 when he dropped this track. So how much further do you think <laughs> we've gone? We've gone a, a whole nother generation and damn near a half since then. I want to raise my little man, but you keep persisting. I'm insisting you chill for real before you come up missing. Hey, 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 hey you get it. I could only imagine getting that frustrated to whereas like somebody who you at one point loved and probably still love to this moment you're like yo i i, I will body you <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> like yo i'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm gonna drop you off at the morgue because you 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 are pushing all of the limits and you're pressing and and and, and, and prodding those limits and the deal is is that our policies, legislation, the, the, the child support system and, and all of the other, the entire legal system is all geared towards push, continue, continuing to push men, using their children to push men. And it's, uh, it's, it's unfortunate as hell. It really is. Listen, I don't want to fight. I'd rather do what's right. A boy needs a father. That's the most important part of his life. Bang. And that's the whole verse. I mean, that's the whole verse right there. I think that you know pun was a genius he i don't think he really gets the same type of adoration that you know big and pot do primarily because you know of how he passed he he, he died because he was a big boy but pun was a big boy <laughs> one of the funniest things in the world is still him on a scooter in the um i'm um, in, in the uh not a player video you know like that's still one of the funniest things in the world but this verse man this whole song uh really is just one gigantic uh red pill that you know hey maybe you never heard it before maybe you didn't um you know recognize realize it, it, that the album was out there you may not have heard a pun whichever way it goes i just wanted to you know make a video and really highlight that because maybe do start that as a thing on the channel i'm not sure but uh you know, this was, uh, this was, I, th I think that the, I, I made my point very clear. <laughs> like as men, you know, like in, in particularly when it comes to kids and it comes to your children, you're the one that should always want to be there for it. This really speaks to our biological imperatives that I like to talk about so much on the channel where, you know, like that provide and protect and you want to provide and protect for your child. But the person that you made that child with is being difficult and that's something me personally that i oh my goodness i, I couldn't even I, I couldn't even imagine i really couldn't so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you like this also like this like go ahead do that too nobody scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice you want to get videos like this every single day share because sharing is caring and youtube and bitch you can like on the big fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons bang the bell for notifications and speak let me know what do you guys think in the comments uh what what kind what do you know any other like you know dope red pill songs it doesn't 
doesn't have to be rap. I like all types of music. I'm very eclectic like that. Like, like I can listen. I can take it from Jersey 101.5 to WBLS to Power 105 all day. It's, it's not a problem. I have no, there's no genre of music. As long as the music's good, I'm with it. But if you, uh, you know, know of any other songs, or may, it, did they just get you your noggin jogging on other songs that, uh, that uh you know have the same type of messaging i like to hear i'd love for you to drop suggestions in the comments all right so uh until the next one